Welcome back to Bob's Magic Emporium. Time for another all new The School of Magic. Classes in session every Friday on The School of Magic. All right, today I have a trick. I'm calling it One Card Monty. This is a really fun trick to do, and it gets a really big reaction out on the street. So let me jump right into it. So I've preset this deck with a couple cards. The first card I have is the Ace of Spades. You can see that right there. I'm going to place the Ace of Spades down right here, and I've got the second card I've placed is the Queen of Diamonds. And I'm going to take the Queen of Diamonds, and I'm going to place that right over here. Now watch. All I have to do is just tap that card, and they'll switch places. I'll tap them, and they switch back. All right, that's a little bit of a joke, but uh, without looking, which one do you think is the is the Ace of Spades? Do you think it's this one or this one? This one here? Let's turn it over and see. No, that's actually the Queen of Diamonds. This one over here is the Ace of Spades. I was a little too fast for you, and that's one card Monty. All right, fun trick. I love this one. You're going to need three cards for this trick. You're going to need um, one indifferent card and two cards that are exactly the same. So I'm using the Queen of Diamonds. You can use the Queen of Hearts if you'd like, or any of the Black Queens, because normally three-card Monty is called Find the Lady, and usually the odd-colored card or the money card will be a Queen. So I use two Queens of Diamonds. You're going to need two Queens of Diamonds, the same backed uh, design, and then one indifferent card. So if you're using red card, if you're using like red queens, make sure you get a black card to, to balance it out. I like to use the Ace of Spades, but you can use any black card that you want. I just wouldn't use another picture card. So don't use like a Jack or especially don't use a black queen and don't use a King. But any other card, you can use an Ace or a number card, doesn't matter. Uh, what, here's how to set the trick up. One Queen of Diamonds goes right on the top of the deck like that. The Ace of Spades goes next, and then the Queen of the other Queen of Diamonds goes right on top. So from uh, the top of the deck, at the the first three cards, you've got a Queen of Diamonds, an Ace of Spades, and a Queen of Diamonds. So you're ready to begin the trick. So what you can do if you want is you can talk about um, the game three card Monty, talk about how it's a famous con game. What you want to make sure you don't do though is if you do spread the cards out to show it's a normal deck of cards, don't overspread here because then they're going to see there's two queens of diamonds and that wouldn't be good. So what I like to do is when I do a ribbon spread, I'll normally hold a block. I'll put a lot of pressure on the cards. Uh, and what it does is that keeps a block right up here. So notice there's like a bank of cards up here. If you want to do that, um, or you can just talk about how to preset this deck with special cards on the top. And that way, because you can talk about how, you know, the cards that they'll see are, ju you just set them up there. Because you really don't need to actually do any setting of the cards. Sometimes what I'll do too is I'll also uh, cut, have the deck cut and shuffled like this. So let me give these cards a quick little shuffle here. So normally I'll have the cards sometimes even mixed up like this. Well, normally the cards wouldn't be together. So let me spread these cards out. So the cards are all mixed up in the deck and they're all places. Normally what I'll do is set it up right in front of the spectator a lot of times too. So I'll find the ace and place it and then I'll find the two queens and I'll get the, the deck set up. And normally my pattern for this when I'm setting the deck up in front of the people is I'll just say I'm going to set the deck up with some cards on top so we play a little game of find the lady or three card Monty. All right, so now with your three cards set up on the top, you're ready to go, and here's how to do it. All you do is, for the first move, you take the top card and the second card and turn them over together as one. We've learned this before, and that's called the double lift. We learned that in the eight-card brainwave trick, the double lift. And I think we learned it in another trick, too. So all you do is you just thumb count with your thumb on the back of the cards, lift up one, and then lift up two. And then all you do is turn it over. Make sure, again, with the double lift, you don't do this. Don't over-exaggerate the double lift. Don't go one as you're counting two. Don't lift them up really high. Just, it's a small little lift of the cards. One and two, like that. Turn the card over, and boom. And you want to make sure that the, the thing I've seen a lot of people do with the double lift is they'll do this. Don't do that. Fingertips at the corner. So just at the corner, boom, double lift, show it, and then say, that's going to be your card, the Ace of Spades. Double lift again and turn it back over. This card goes on the table or in their hand, and uh, that's actually a queen, even though they think it's an ace. What I normally do is when I do this trick, I'll normally say, hold out your hand, and I'll place that queen, and then I'll say, put your other hand on top. That way, they won't turn the card over and see it prematurely. 
Another, another thing I'll do too, if you have really good audience management, is I'll say, hold the card at your fingertips just like this, but don't turn it over because it's going to ruin the trick if you turn the card over. Now, you might get, if you perform this out on the street, some spectators who want to be hecklers, and they may turn this over just to mess with you. So that's why I say, place your hand here, we'll place the card there, place your other hand on top. Now, this way, they have to actually lift this card up and then or lift their hand up, then turn the card over if they want to get to it. So that way, it's, it's, more, it's more work for them to have to turn that card over. So I'll normally just say, leave it like that. So, or you can place the card on the table if you want to. But again, you may have those hecklers that try to go and grab that card. So this is the best way to do it. So leave that card there. So again, uh, from, the, from the top, it's the uh, double lift. Turn it over, place it in their hand. Other hand goes on top. Then you take the second card, which is going to be the Queen of Diamonds. Of course, you won't show the spectator that. You do another double lift by thumb counting, of course, one and two cards, and then turning over both cards at the fingertips. Show the Queen of Diamonds. Turn the Queen of Diamonds over. Now, I do, and then, then take the top card, which, again, is the Ace of Spades. They think it's the Queen of Diamonds. Now, normally, I'll do the, uh, the I'll throw in the joke of, oh, you tap the cards, they switch places. You tap them again, they switch back. I do that joke. If you don't think that's going to work in your show, you don't have to do that joke, but it does get a laugh. So, you, so I'll normally go, you tap this card once, that makes them switch places. You tap it again, they switch back. You don't believe me? Well, without looking, and then normally I'll go without looking which one is the Ace of Spades. And normally if you say without looking, they're going to say, oh, it's this card, because they saw that card when you did that double lift. So they say, no, it's this card right here. They turn it over, you say, okay, go ahead and open up your hand and turn the card over. They'll do it. And they'll see it's the Queen of Diamonds. Then you turn your card over and say, I have the Ace of Spades. And then normally they'll start freaking out and I'll say, or they'll look at you like, how the heck did you do that? Normally I'll say, you got to watch the magician because we're actually pretty sneaky. And then normally what I'll do after that too is one other tip is once I do the move, so I do the double lift, show the card, place it on the table. I do the double lift with the other one and I'll place this one on the table. Normally what I'll do is then I'll immediately cut the cards. That way, that other queen of diamonds is now buried in the middle of the deck. So just in case they go to try to maybe turn the deck over or something, there won't be a queen of diamonds right there. That way, if you bury it after you place the two cards on the table. All right, so that's the uh, two card or the one card Monty trick. Hope you enjoyed. Now let me know if you try any of these school of magic tricks on your friends or family or whatever. Post your success stories in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you next Friday for an all-new The School of Magic. Do you know how to mix up cards? You say, you are not cards. You are not cards. You get the, the two tubes, and you get a certain amount of bottles. Let me grab one of the uh, real and usable. You're probably talking like a $100 trick, so that's why. And, and it's a real... Their selected card, we'll say, is the King of Diamonds goes right on the table. And all...